inspired by all the food we get to eat when we're away. So, Jason, you're up now, and the restaurant that sticks oh. out in your mind is an Italian restaurant. It is, yep. Tell me the story. Well, okay, so my uncle is Italian, but for my entire life, he's lived in England. And he's in the restaurant business, and he's worked in some of the most, well, the most amazing place ever. So when we were going to Italy, he said, oh, you've got to go to Luca. It's very close to where I grew up, and I want you to go to this restaurant. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, okay, Uncle Joe, no problem. You know, what? You know, kind of thinking, <laughs> give me a break, right? right? Well, there's eight of us, my, Meg's whole family, we go there. We go into this restaurant, and I'm like, hi, uh, you know, my uncle's name is uh, Giuseppe Simonini. And it was like in the movies. He's like, oh, my God, it's Giuseppe Simonini. Yeah, oh, my God. Like a table comes out, and they're like, you're eating, you're eating. We were just going to look around. Next thing you know, we're sitting at a table. The food just starts coming out. Here comes the wine. It's always a Giuseppe yeah. table. Right? Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Any yeah. Giuseppe, really. But yeah. what was amazing was, is I've always loved risotto. And of course, yeah. in Italy, we're having risotto. But what they do is they have risotto on the menu. What is it? Well, it's whatever the season is. So this one had to be asparagus okay. risotto. And it was the most intense, flavorful risotto I've ever had. And even now, uh, Meg's aunt, like our aunt, she always every year wants asparagus risotto. And so you have to make it for I her. I have to make it. But you are a chef, and all of us watching at Take home are thinking, I don't ever make risotto right. because it, it feels fussy. It's it's time consuming. It's one of those things that you've got to have patience. Yes. Yeah. And it starts with lots of butter, and then you add more butter. <laughs> and then, um, but no, you, you the thing with risotto is you got to have patience. you got to calm down, but not be so intimidated by it. So don't you know? be intimidated by it because as we go through this recipe, uh, Jason is actually going to talk about the things that are going to make or break the recipe. Everything yep. else you can chill out about, right. yep. but when it comes to things like the temperature right. of yeah, the right. stock. Exactly. So That's first off, important. a good thick based pan. Yes. Okay. Right? Because yeah. we need even cooking. If it's got a thin pan and you get hot spots, when you're stirring this for the 20, 30 minutes that your arm is going, it's going to burn. Right. Okay? Yeah. Start off with some butter and some good flavor build as a garlic in that first. And then arborio rice. Now, there is different types of rice, the Italian, but a short grain rice. Mm -hmm. And now you have to add this in, but you have to stir this Toast for at least, exactly. Toast, Toast it. Yes. You've got to move it around. But most importantly, what I'm doing now is I'm actually coating every grain with a little bit of butter. Which, you know, right? <laughs> we all want to grow up and do. I know. There I, you go. I roll around in butter every morning. Yeah. <laughs> no. When I die, but, I come back as a risotto grain. That's yeah. it. <laughs> but <laughs> the thing is, butter. though, is by, if you coat every one, think about this, it just makes sense. If they're all got a little bit of butter around them, when you cook them, they don't clump together. Oh. So you that get even sense. cooking. It's all about even cooking. Yes. And then my friend is already on it. Mm -hmm. mm. Does it matter what you're using? Uh, like, does it matter? What wine you use? Well, make sure it's from my winery. That's all. Yeah. 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 Okay, and what we I mean by feeding it, and I'm just going to get my veggies going while I'm doing this, yeah. great. is you need to start adding stock, okay? But it has to be warm stock. You can actually cheat a little bit. So what you can do is you can actually do this. If you haven't guessed over, you can do exactly what um, Randy's doing is cook it for about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and then you take that and lay it on a baking tray and put it in the fridge cool. and cool yeah. it down, and then that's what I had over here. So that okay. way, now, instead of that 21, 25 minutes it takes to cook a risotto, you can do it in about eight. Oh, I right? see. So when you've got your dinner party over and you know all of a sudden it's time to do the risotto, you're not standing there and ignoring your guests. You can do that. That is a good tip. Okay. Break it up. The other thing is, is uh, you want to add vegetables or flavor to this, but when do you do it? Because if you saute it before and then you add your rice, by the time you cook your rice, your asparagus is brown and lost the mm -hmm. color. So what I do is I do it in a separate pan. I just warm it, soften it. You can blanch the asparagus, whatever you want to do. But when that's ready, then you'll actually add that in. You want to scrape that oh. in there. There you go. And now yeah, it's only in there for the oh, last okay. like minute or two because you're not going to turn it all brown. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Now here's another tip that I learned though that I think is really important. So we've added asparagus to that. I flavored my stock. It's a veggie stock with asparagus as well. Mm -hmm. But that's all I'm really getting in for asparagus flavor. How do I get more in there? Well, I Whoa. made an asparagus puree. Mm. 
and you add that right into your risotto. Look at that color. Look at this is what it's about. Now some Italians are going to say, yeah, and some Italians are going to be like, what are you doing to the risotto? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm not sure what my uncle's doing right now. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get, call, I'll get a call later. tonight. Yeah. What were you Why doing? Did, well, yeah. 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 So you're getting a triple, you're getting a triple hit. You get that flavor. In the flavor. stock, it's in the puree, yeah. you have actual asparagus oh, in there. That was the biggest thing that hit me was when I uh, took a bite of this risotto was it was asparagus. It mm -hmm. was just like inf insanely Intense. asparagus. Yes. Um, now I'm seasoning near the end. Okay, and I'm gonna add, I like the goat's cheese, so we're gonna add oh, some goat oh, cheese in there. Yes. Yeah, throw that sure. in there. Yes. Ah, just, you know what, just throw just the Just don't. Throw just throw the Do you want chunks of that still there, Sean? Ah, just let it break it down, that's fine. Uh, but then, here's the thing where I differ from my training. When I trained, I actually uh, had a, a Swiss chef that showed me to put a little bit of whipped cream into your risotto. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Okay. Whoa. If I did that in Italy, that's I would be on the good. first plane kicked out of the country. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do is we no, add this is okay. butter into yeah, it yeah. and you just and mount it. Is that know. normal? Is butter usually just, a part of it? I feel it like the goat cheese was lonely. It needed yes. some other fat in there. So then it's friend butter's yeah, going to yeah. come yeah. along. Yeah. Yeah. Butter is better. It helps to kind of bring it together. Yeah. Okay. I usually throw a little yeah. mascarpone in mine. I just yeah. find it says oh, same you thing. Do. So, and then they like okay. to kind of actually get some air into yeah. it and fold that butter into it. kind of walking back. Yeah, it's like, Jay, looks great. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Question for you. Yes. How do you know when it's done? Okay, so take a bite of it and it should it just be soft through the bite. So it's got a crunch. So more but it's not needs a snap. more time. Oh, so that, then it is done. Yeah. You, yeah, when it's just got a soft bite, it's boom, but you want it to have texture. Okay. But if it snaps, it's crunchy. No, it's a little it's bit. It's not ready yet. Yeah. It's nice. A okay. Dante. Great. Um, and and then the go. last thing I'm going to ask you about is just the flavor of the stock, Jason. You used a veggie yeah. uh, stock and you added asparagus to oh. it. What is going to dictate what stock you use? You can, I mean, really the ingredients. So if I'm doing asparagus, I want it kind of light and refreshing. But if I was doing a mushroom risotto, I might add in, you know, like a beef stock or something <laughs> okay. like that. You know, um, but the, and just so you know, it's just a small portion, right? So, small portion. Too short. I can't no, yeah, yeah. And then we, you know, even though I'm putting goat cheese in there, you got to put some parmesan, parmesan on top. Come on. Come on. Oh, Come on. Man. Right. A little bit of tarragon leaves. If you got Beautiful. some, uh, you know, truffle oil or olive oil, but simple, classic. Yeah, yeah. some little red vein soil in there. And the reason why it's, it's classic is because that. that is so rich but so light at the same time. It is amazing. I mean, it's I, an amazing I can eat that whole dish. thing right now.